Hi everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here. Um, if you saw my last video, I did talk about dryads and what they were. Sorry again if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but no one's told me I'm not yet, so I'll carry on saying it that way. Anyway, um, I said I was going to do some spells, and this is what I'm here to do today. Now, I'm going to do a dryad spell to heal. Now, this is a very simple spell to perform, and it will give you an excuse to get out into a local forest or woodland. Ask for the permission of the person you are working for before you perform this spell. Okay, this is what you will need for this spell. A pretty gift tag, a short length of blue ribbon, and you can do it on any moon phase. And now this is what I like with working with the elementals, because most of the time you, you can do these spells any time you like. Okay. Now, this is what you're going to have to do. You need to write the name of the person who is ill on the gift tag and thread the blue ribbon. And now blue is the colour of healing magic. So remember that blue is the colour of healing magic. Now, thread this ribbon through the tag. Taking the tag, go into the woods and walk until you find a tree with low-hanging branches. You'll feel quite drawn to a particular tree. Now, this is a good feeling. Um, it's one of them you'll know when you get there you'll have that just that feeling of knowing the tree carefully tie the gift tag to a tree branch and then place your power hand which is usually the one you write with on the trunk of the tree so touching wood for luck and say the following charm so keep your power hand on the tree trunk and say these words Dryad residing in this tree, please heal the one dear to me. By the power of your elemental energy, this is my will, so mow it be. So most of the time that the spells end like this. Now give silent thanks to the tree and continue your walk through the woods before returning home. Now this is a good opportunity to just take in the energies of the forest. Um, acknowledge the the fairies, the elementals, the dryads, just just while you're out there it's a good opportunity for you to acknowledge everything okay so that was my dried spell to heal I'm going to do one more spell for you and that is the dried spell for growth which is another very simple spell because you don't need anything for this but this one does have a moon phase now this is for the moon phase of the waxing moon um, most of the other spells they don't have a moon phase but for this one it is best performed on a waxing moon now, again, this will help you get out into the woods. Now, I'm going to tell you what to do. Go to the wood and sit beneath your favourite tree. Or sit beneath a tree in your garden if you prefer. That, that, what I mean by that is, say if it's, very, it's hard for you to get to the woods and you do have a tree in your garden, it's a good idea to try that. Close your eyes and breathe deeply, opening your mind's eye and heart to connect with the tree spirit. Once you can clearly visualise the elemental dryad, state what it is you wish to grow. This could be your savings account, your child, your pet or your own personal growth. And chant the following for as long as you can. By dryad power the spell I sow, I've named the things I wish to grow. As I do, will, it shall be so. I chant the spell and let it go. By dried power, this spell I sow, I've named the thing I wish to grow. As I do will, it shall be so. I chant the spell and let it go. Now if you continue chanting that, take a few minutes out while you're out there after you've finished chanting. And just, just take in the energies, enjoy the trees, enjoy the outdoors. So that is a spell for growth involving the dryads. Um, I will do one more and then it will be on to another topic so I might do that now um, I will do a dryad spell to attain new heights and dryads can be called on to heal help and help you achieve your long-term goals and attain new heights in your career or on your other life's path. Now like I said before, a lot of spells don't use phases of the moon. Like this spell does not use the phases of the moon. 
So all you need, again, like, like the very first spell I told you in this video, you need a luggage label and a pen. That's basically like the first one. Now write down your long-term goals on the luggage label, which symbolizes the fact that you are certainly going somewhere. Take the label out into the woods and find a young tree, one that will have to grow fast and strive to reach the sunlight. Tie the luggage label to the tree and say these words. So the difference is for this spell compared to the first spell where it says find um, a tree that you're attracted to and tie it to a long uh, hanging branch. This one is different. This is go asking you to find a young tree that needs to fight to grow. And this is the words that you've got to say once you've tied your luggage label to that young tree. Youthful dryad of this tree, here is my goal for all to see. As you strive to reach the heights, so help me to attain new heights. Return home and know that as the tree grows strong and tall, you will be inspired and assisted upon your chosen path. So it's basically one of those ones that will happen in a long run, but it won't be an instant thing. Don't expect a lot of spells to happen instantaneously, because that won't happen. They have to manifest and grow. So say if you did something and you, you cast a spell, and you want to see an instant result, so 90% of the time you're not going to see that instant result. You're probably going to have to wait a while for it to actually happen. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be doing more. My next topic, I'll be talking about the elves. And I hope you will all enjoy that when I do that video. And bless it be.